we're taking care of my niece starting today. Huh? What did you just say? I said we're taking care of my niece here. You are a housewife, so you can take care of her too. Okay? When my husband came home, I found the baby, his niece, in his arms. She's not very expressive, and even though she's only five months old, she doesn't drink much milk. When I asked him how my sister in law was taking care of her, he just said that I have to figure it out on my own. After a while, I called my mother in law to get her contact information. What she told me was something unexpected. I see. So, that's what it is. I finally understood what was going on. I'm his wife. And he's taking advantage of me. I'll show him what I can do. My name is Chloe. Before I was married to my husband Justin, I was a daycare teacher. I resigned from my job when I got married, and now I support my husband as a housewife. My husband Justin works, works for a startup company and leaves the house at 7 a.m. every morning. I thought that if possible, I wanted to continue working, save money until we have children. However, one month before we were to get married, he suddenly said, Chloe, I'm sorry if this is selfish or me, but if we get married, will you quit your job and become a housewife? What? A housewife? Why? So you can focus on things around the house. I can work even harder if I'm comfortable at home. Well, I think we should both keep working until we have kids. I know. But I want my wife to stay at home. I'll give you enough money every month. So, what do you say? There was no space for me to say no because he was so serious. I always liked doing housework to begin with, so I just said yes. That's how I ended up becoming a full time housewife upon my marriage. Two years has passed since then, and for the second time in a row, I haven't received the money from my husband. I decided to talk to him about it over dinner. Hey, I need to pay the rent soon, and I'm thinking of going to the hairdresser tomorrow. So, can I have the money for this month? Oh, about that. Can you manage it with half the amount from now on? What? Why? Well, my salary has gone. My salary has gone down a little, so I can only give you less. Is that so? How long? I don't know. Just hold on for the time being, right? It should get back to normal soon. Okay, got it. After that, even though I tried, I have to dip into my savings frequently. One day, I began to feel uncomfortable with my husband's behavior. At first, it didn't bother me and I didn't think anything about it. My husband started working late because he wanted to increase his salary. He always came home before 7 p.m. But these days, he would always come home after 11 p.m. And then one day, my husband didn't come home until after midnight. I was so worried that I called him, but he didn't answer the phone at all. He had never been this unresponsive before. What if it was an accident? A bad premonition came over me and my heart started to beat faster. If he doesn't come home by tomorrow morning, I'll call the police. Just as I was thinking that, I heard the front door open. I went running to the door as fast as I could to make sure my husband was safe. But then, my eyes were caught by an extraordinary sight. What? What is that baby? In my husband's arms was a tiny baby. I guess she was around six months old. But why would he be holding a baby? I had no clue. As I was totally puzzled, 
my husband said something I couldn't believe. This is my niece. She's my sister's baby. We're going to take care of her from today. What? What did you just say? I said we are taking care of her here. Her name is Willow. She's five months old, I think. I'm counting on you, Chloe. Hold on. Wait a minute. I don't understand this. My husband suddenly came home with a five month old baby in his arm. He said she's my sister in law's child. But I believe my sister in law followed her husband on his job transfer and is now living in California. I had no idea what was going on. So I asked for an explanation. Hey, please, explain it to me. I thought your sister was in California for her husband's work. Well, um, I heard they got divorced. Divorced? Really? She came to our wedding with her husband. They seem to get along so well. Getting a divorce when the baby is still five months old? Don't ask me. I'm not them, you know. Anyway, my sister's divorced now and came back here for work. So she wants us to take care of Willow until her salary is stable. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Is this for real? Wait. What about your mom? Would it be easier for your sister and the baby to stay with your parents? Then my husband opened his mouth with a stuttering voice and an expression of displeasure on his face. Actually, my sister hasn't told her parents about the divorce yet. She said she will tell them herself when she gets settled. What? But that doesn't mean we have to take care of the baby, right? I know, but my sister is getting through a tough time. Besides, she left Willow with us for a reason. What do you mean? You were a daycare teacher, weren't you? So, you are good with babies, right? And you are a housewife now. You have free time during the day. What's that supposed to mean? I have free time because I'm a housewife? I don't get it. You know what I mean? Come on, Chloe. Here. My husband forced me to have the baby and snuck into the house. I thought we were going to talk about what to do now. But he started drinking beer without a care in the world. Justin, are you kidding me? I raised my voice and my niece Willow started to cry aloud. My husband didn't seem to help me at all, so I asked him in frustration. Hey, where are the diapers? She's crying. I'll change her diaper and give her some milk. What's that? I don't bring anything. Huh? You didn't keep any of her baby stuff from your sister? Um, I don't think so. Are you kidding me? Then what the hell are you going to do with it? I don't know. My husband got upset and kept drinking his beer. I had no choice but to leave my niece with my husband and run to the 24 hour drugstore. I got her some diapers, baby formula, bottles, and wipes. Her skin looked so dry, I thought she might need some moisturizer too. I put them all in the basket and went through the checkout counter. I hurried home, changed her diaper, fed her, and gave her a bath. And she finally calmed down. I used to be a daycare teacher, so I can take care of the baby, okay. But I was still confused with the situation. At that point, it was already past midnight. While I was giving Willow a bath, my husband already went to bed. The next morning, when I saw that Willow was asleep, I woke my husband up. Hey, Justin, wake up. Huh? What is it? I was late last night. I need more sleep. Don't be silly. It's your day off. Willow needs some clothes. She doesn't have anything to put on. I'll go get them. So, watch her, okay? What? Why? It's getting colder. 
Why is she wearing only underwear? Don't tell me. My sister gave her to me like that. Don't be irresponsible. Anyway, I'll get her some in a hurry. So, don't let her out of your sight. I told my husband, who was still in bed, and I hurried to a nearby shopping mall. There I bought some clothes and toys and hurried home again. As I opened the front door, I heard Willow's cries. I rushed to the living room and found Willow on the sofa, crying hysterically. My husband was standing next to her, fiddling with his phone. He was enjoying watching a video alone, without paying attention to Willow's crying. What are you doing, Justin? She suddenly started crying. Why do you leave her alone then? You know she's crying so much. Don't you care enough to hold her or and calm her down? Why are you so angry? It's not a big deal. Now that you're home, give her some milk. Huh? Don't make me do everything. I'm paying for everything out of my savings. Not only today, but for the past few months. Will you give me that money back? Well, that's enough. This situation is ridiculous. I'll talk to your sister directly. Give me her contact. I'm a former childcare worker, but there are some things I don't know. How much milk she drinks, how much sleep she gets, and what kind of things she likes. If I'm going to take care of Willow, I at least want to meet her needs and treat her responsibly. In order to do that, I need to know how my sister-in-law treated her. But when I asked my husband for her contact information, he refused to give it to me. After all, he became a little angry and yelled at me. Why do you have to ask my sister? Think for yourself. What? Are you being serious? Willow is now in a place she's not used to. It's only fair to ask her mother what her lifestyle was like. I don't give a shit about that. Regular feedings and diaper changes. That's all you need to know. Anyway, just do whatever you have to do until my sister comes to get her. Seriously? What the hell, Justin? My husband sighed loudly and got up from the sofa. He grabbed his wallet and phone and walked out of the house. Unbelievable! So irresponsible! What is he thinking? When he was the one who took her home here, I need to take care of my niece in a safe and secure environment. I decided to contact my mother-in-law for help. Although my husband said she still didn't know about my sister-in-law's divorce. Now is not the time to worry about that. After taking care of Willow and putting her to bed, I called my mother-in-law. Hello? Hi, it's me, Chloe. Oh, hi, Chloe. It's been a while. Willow, who had been sleeping, let out a small cry in response to my voice. My mother-in-law heard it and opened her mouth in surprise. Chloe. I just heard a baby crying. I'm sorry. That's why I called you today. I have some questions I'd like to ask you about this baby, Willow. Can you tell me your daughter's contact information? My daughter? I wonder what the baby has to do with my daughter. What? Um, because Willow is her child. That's what Justin said when he brought her home. No, that can't be true. My daughter has a girl, but she's already three years old. And my daughter's family is on an overseas trip. What? My mother-in-law's words messed up my mind. It's too different from what my husband told me. Oh, um, is your daughter divorced? When I asked her the most important question. She denied it with surprise. Divorced? No way. They just visited here last month for vacation. There's no way she's divorced. 
At the moment, the trust I had built up with my husband began to collapse. Everything he said about this niece was a lie. At the same time, I had a lot of bad thoughts in my head. My mother in law seemed to feel the same way and asked me in a trembling voice, Chloe? Then Justin brought the baby with him, right? And he told you it was his niece. Oh my gosh. I know. I'm sorry. I think I need to do some research. I don't expect the result would be very good. I know. I heard you. I'll keep my mouth shut until we know what we're dealing with. After I finished talking to my mother in law, I hurried to check the detective agency. With Willow there, I couldn't take the time to visit the agency in person. So I found out that I could request an investigation remotely. I immediately requested a background check on my husband. For a few weeks, I kept my composure. My husband was always home after midnight, as if he didn't want to see me. A week later, a representative from the agency came to my house with the result of the investigation. The result was something I had expected, of course. Sure enough, my husband was having an affair, and every night on his way home from work, he would stop by his partner's house. The detective told me that Willow was probably the child of the affair. My husband took advantage of the fact that I used to be a daycare teacher and left Willow with me because he didn't want the child to be disturbed. I couldn't stop being angry at my husband's selfish and despicable behavior. I waited for him to come home that day until after midnight. A few hours later, my husband showed up. I took the opportunity to say to him, Welcome home. Did you enjoy your time with your mistress? What? What did you say? Mistress? What are you talking about? I already know everything. What the? I confronted him with the photo evidence of the affair. I could see his face turn pale and he was obviously upset. When did you take those pictures? I called your mother to get your sister's contact information. She surprised me. Your sister has not divorced. And she's currently abroad with her three year old daughter. No, no, no. This is. What? She's not divorced and she doesn't have a five month old daughter? Is that right? Willow is yours, isn't she? You and mistresses. Wait a minute. I being careful, you know? She tricked me. He was making up excuses, as if it's not his fault. She was the one who came on to me. I was just having fun. Nothing serious. I don't even know if Willow is really mine. My husband told me that in no uncertain terms and asked for my forgiveness. I was so disgusted by him that I felt nausea welling up inside me. I said to him forcefully, You've got to be kidding me. You don't know if she's yours or not? Don't be irresponsible. Then get a DNA test or something and prove it. I'm telling you, even if it wasn't your child, I won't forgive you. You cheated on me and betrayed me. Chloe, Calm down. No, there's nothing more to talk. You betrayed not only me, but also your mother and sister. I apologize. I'm sorry. So please calm down. Why should I calm down? You and your mistress don't even understand any parental responsibilities. My husband keeps apologizing over and over again with tears in his eyes. But it doesn't change my mind. This man has done the worst thing to me, his wife. It took a long time, but I divorced my husband. I also demanded alimony from his mistress and received a lump sum payment. Justin and his mistress got into debt because of the alimony. 
because of that. They started arguing a lot, and eventually, they terminated the relationship. Of course, his mother and sister didn't offer him any help. He lied and cheated on his wife and made her take care of the baby he made with another woman. No woman could forgive him for what he's done. As for Willow, she was taking care of at her mother's parents' house. When I was saying goodbye to her, Willow smiled at me for the first time. She's the child of my husband and the woman with whom he had an affair. Normally, I would have felt hatred for her, but strangely enough, I didn't. The child was innocent. It's the cheater who is to blame. I'm divorced and living alone now, but I still think of Willow from time to time. There may be times in the future when Willow will be in trouble because her parents are not around. But I hope that she will grow up strong and resilient in the face of hardship. That's all I can hope for now.